Hi everyone, welcome back to another Nikki Uncut and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be fun because I have purposely saved all of the makeup that I purchased while I was out in London just recently. If you don't know, if you don't follow my channel, I was in London. Um, I have so many goodies to show you all. I'm so, so excited, but I was in London just recently for um, a little over a week with one of my good clients. I was doing her makeup for a bunch of events and while in London, I took advantage of the shopping and I went to Harrods, as you can see. Now Harrods is one of the most beautiful department stores I've ever been to in my life. And I think that's saying a lot because I have grown up in Los Angeles and like, you know, I have Beverly Hills and all those places at like, you know, within like 20 miles of where I've always grown up. So for me to say that I think says a lot and Harrods is like the most, oh my God, such a beautiful, beautiful place to just walk around and <laughs> and just scour the, the aisles. It's just such a gorgeous place. So I went makeup shopping, got a whole bunch of goodies. I also, of course, it wouldn't be a trip to the UK if I didn't go to Space NK. These are such great places. I love, I, I say these places because I went to so many different locations at of Space NK. And um, this one clearly I had the most luck at. I picked up a whole ton of Vive products, Jamie Genevieve's makeup brand. If you don't know who she is, I, again, I would be super shocked. She's huge on YouTube. She's an incredible makeup artist and she has an amazing makeup brand called Vive. I picked up tons of stuff from her brand and also full transparency. I plan on doing a full face of only Vive for my YouTube channel very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And honestly, if I'm being really honest with you, I might save a lot of the Vive products that I purchased for that reason. And instead, I'm going to dive into all the things I got at other locations like Harrods. So um, I have a lot to dive into. Let's get into this. Okay, let's get into like the products that I have. The first haul that I did at Harrods, I picked up just, was it just two products? Yeah, just two products from Vive. And that was because they were sold out of everything else from Vive at that store. So in that location at Harrods, I picked up this adorable, I think, I'm assuming this is limited edition. This is the most adorable tin. It's a treasure tin and it has uh, Pesca in it. So it has like the Pesca colored stuff in it. It has Pesca sunset blush. It's like a powder blush and the Pesca lip dew. Let's open this up. Oh, how cute is this? I mean... Jamie Genevieve, just, just crushing it with the packaging. Um, let's see if I can get this out. So this is the lip do. It's like a tinted lip oil. So pretty. And then let me see if I can get this blush out. Lucky for me, I have short nails and that's really been helping me with packaging lately. This is the blush. Let's take off this little plastic guy. And oh, stunning. It's beautiful. Let's, I mean, come on. And this tin, can we just talk about this tin as I hit myself in the head with it? It's so cute. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll probably put jewelry in it to be quite honest. Let's put that aside. That was Herod's bag number one. Inside Herod's bag number two, much heavier. And I did a whole bunch of shopping, but I also, full disclosure, I got some stuff for free that I also just kind of tossed in this Herod's bag. So in this bag that I've got, luckily, very fortunately for free, um, is a bunch of stuff from Isamaya Beauty. So Isamaya French is a huge makeup artist. Um, she does tons of runway shows. She's just, she's a total icon. Um, very creative, very, um, yeah, just a very creative makeup artist. I can't think of any, anything else to say about her other than the fact that she's incredibly talented, very innovative, um, and just very unique, very different. So she's not like your everyday beauty content creator or, or makeup artist for that matter. She is just very, she sets the trends. I'll leave it at that. She's like a trendsetter. So this was her original collection that came out. It was called the Industrial Collection. Um, you can see it has like piercings and everything. And sadly, the piercing fell off of the primer that I got. Um, but I picked up, or I didn't pick it up. I got some of these items for free. So I have a hookup. Uh, my friend Polly, she is uh, the owner, I believe, of Fifth House. They're a public relations agency. They they put on events. Um, they put on, they put on a ton of events for my client Susan Yar's skincare brand, Naturium. While we we're out there, so Polly is just <laughs> Polly is like the most fun person you'll ever meet. But she was 
determined to get me some Isa Meyer French Beauty while I was out there in the UK. So she delivered, she did not disappoint. So that is how I got the industrial palette, the mascara, which I'll be putting on. I even got the infamous, very heavy, added to the overweight factor of my luggage going home, lipstick. I got this, which is also very expensive. I was looking up the prices and they're, they're not cheap. Um, this primer I've been told is amazing. So you know what? Let's just get this party going. I've been talking a lot. <laughs> let's get this party going and let's put this primer on and see what it's all about. So Polly specifically was telling me that this primer is her favorite product from Izumaya and that she thinks it's incredible. And she was determined to get me to try this. So Polly, this one is for you. And so far, you're 100% right because this looks really pretty and feels really nice on my skin. It leaves a nice glow, but also like a, a very like nice silky texture. That's really nice. And you know what? While we're just kind of diving in now, I have a terra... Oh, a Girl on Paris, excuse me, terracotta foundation. This is the terracotta foundation from Girl on. That's better put than what I just originally said. I picked this up not while I was in the UK, just full disclosure. I actually picked this up for my huge upcoming foundation haul that I just finished filming. If you're watching this video in real time, that video will be up this coming Saturday. This is, you're watching on a Tuesday, this coming Saturday, that video is gonna be posted. And I picked up this foundation for that video. This is sold at sephora.com. So online only for Sephora in the US, I believe. And I've already used it a couple times. I think it's a really beautiful foundation. So I'm gonna apply this on top of that Isamaya primer. And of course, with my N17 brush, using the lighter fiber side. And the shade that I have, I should call that out, is 2.5N. And I mean, it's really just a beautiful match for me, to be honest. It's a great undertone. It's very neutral. Now, this foundation, a couple things I, I noticed about this foundation, it's very skin-like, in my opinion. Feels and looks very much like just healthy, natural skin while also giving really nice coverage. So it is a little bougie. It is a little bit more pricey. Clearly it's, if you know Girl On, their makeup is not the most affordable. It's very, it is more of like a luxurious experience. Um, and with that, it comes with a, a slightly higher price tag. Just think like YSL, Chanel. It's right in line with those makeup brands as far as their price points go. Now, this also does contain a little hint of fragrance. So just a forewarning, if that, you know, if that's something that bothers you, just something to point out and call out. I do have a little bit more talking points, I believe about this foundation that you'll see and hear about if you choose to watch a very long video coming up, like I mentioned this Saturday, where I test out every single foundation that Sephora sells in store and online. Now let's get this foundation on. And then I have another product from Girl On that I have been obsessed with since I picked it up. I did pick it up at the same time I picked up all these other goodies. So we'll dive into that in just a bit. And I did also get a concealer from Vive while I was at Space and K. And I'm going to break into that as well so I can kind of do like a nice complete look with these products, these goodies that I picked up. But for now, let's get this foundation on. Another thing I want to point out actually about this foundation is it wears a very, very long time, which I really appreciate when I put my makeup on. It's nice to just have it, to know that it's going to stay put and not really do anything, move about my face as, my, as I'm going throughout my day. So I love it for that reason also. I've just been really honestly enjoying this foundation so much. The fragrance of it does not bother me at all. I think you guys probably know that by now. I'm not bothered by fragrance, but I try to be mindful because I know a lot of you are bothered by it. But to me, it's like a very soft, kind of um, kind of like a fresh, slightly floral scent. But look how pretty that is. I mean, it just looks like skin. And it does have like a self-setting uh, aspect to it where it does kind of self-set just a touch. So when I go to set it with powder, I actually don't need that much powder, honestly, to like lock it down and keep it in place. So we're gonna move on from that beautiful Guerlain foundation. 
And let me show you a couple other things that I have up my sleeve. The thing I was just mentioning is a bronzer from Girl On. This bronzer, I've actually wanted this bronzer for a very, very long time. And I'm so happy that I finally picked it up. So I had a hard time picking out which shade to get. There were a few other shades to choose from. I ended up picking up the one that has the pink swirled into it. There was also a peachy one that was really beautiful too, but they're all, they're gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. So this is the Terracotta Light um, Medium Cool Bronzer. So it has a shimmery shade in it. It has two different tones of matte bronzer. And of course it has that more blush tone pink in it. I just swirl a brush into it and go for it. That's like my, my preferred way of applying it. So I'm gonna take my N15, no surprise. And I just kind of like pat into all of it also swirl but I'm just gonna pat in tap off the excess and we're gonna warm up the forehead I also was using this first of all I was so excited when I did pick this up and I think I picked this up um, I want to say it was like midweek um, when I was in London so it was midweek and I had I had I had like a few a good solid few days of trying this out while I was in the UK and that was really nice. So I I opened that up right away. I broke broke into it and I was wearing it as like my blush and my bronzer. And the way it looked on my skin, I was pretty obsessed with, I'm not gonna lie. It gives a really subtle radiance to your skin. Kind of like how the Hourglass Ambient Lighting powders, powders work where they're not super glowy they're not super shimmery. They give like this subtle, healthy radiance to your skin. This kind of has a similar effect to it, in my opinion, where it gives like a soft focused, soft radiance to your skin. My baby hairs are out of control today and not wanting to stay put. Now I am putting this on top of more wet foundation that's not properly set. So you'll see me use a lot of like light tapping motions to not disrupt that makeup underneath. But look how pretty that is. I just think it's such a great formula. Pricey, <sighs> but worth it. I'm going to tap this just underneath my cheekbone. Just for like a really soft, soft sculpting and warming effect to my cheek, just like that. And let's push it back towards my ear. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. This is also scented just like the Girl On foundation. So just, just calling it out. Um, basically it smells exactly the same as the foundation. But I just love how this wears on my skin. I love how it lays on my skin. It's just a really nice product. So happy I picked this up. Could I pick this up in the US? Yes. But was it more special to pick it up in the UK? A hundred percent, way more fun and uh, better memories attached to it. So I'm just going to do a little under my chin and then I'm going to leave my nose for a bit because I want to put some concealer on first and I'm going to grab and let's dip into, let's dive into together this heavy bag from Space and K. This is where I picked up majority of my Vive products including a palette that I have wanted since she launched it. It is the 90s or 90s, 90s palette. Oh, this palette is so gorgeous. Let's open it up together. Packaging, come on. I mean, are you kidding me? Like, look at this. It's like, it's like a tattoo parlor mixed with like vintage vibes and just, it's just so cool. I am obsessed with this packaging. Whew. Let me show you the inside of this very cool toned palette. Come on. I mean, how, how gorgeous is this? Now I, I'm going to just tell you up front, I'm going to save this palette for my full face of Vive. So you'll see this again very, very soon. I'm going to put it away for now. Gone, but not forgotten. I also got a, a bronzer and I'm really just going to like lightly go over the products I got from Vive because I'm going to save it for another video. So let's just find the concealer because I do need that concealer for this video just to make it a complete look. Um, so this is the Vive Modern Radiance Concealer. I picked up the shade Light 4. And oh, it's kind of sad breaking into this beautiful packaging. Like the outer packaging, the inner packaging, like every bit of packaging 
from Vive is so gorgeous. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Cream bronzer, saving that. What else are we saving? Yep, we're saving the rest of that stuff. Let's just grab this concealer. Big component, by the way, a very big component. I like this a lot. And I'm just obviously a sucker for anything gold and black. So this is just calling my name constantly. Let's apply the shade four under my eyes. Hmm. Love the big doe foot. It's not, this is not fragranced from what I can tell. Let's do some concealing. I have a feeling I applied way too much. We're going to find out together and let's grab a clean N16 brush. And let's tap away. Okay, wow. So consistency of this product is much thicker than I anticipated. Very full coverage. You know, kind of reminiscent of Tarte Shape Tape. Kind of. Um, not just in like the doe foot applicator, but just in the texture. But blending out, very, very nice. Yeah, this is definitely a full coverage concealer. And you probably didn't need nearly as much as I put on, but we're testing it. We're having fun together. I am not familiar with this product, so, or, or any of these products other than the Guerlain products I just applied. So this is new to me. Yeah, definitely a thick consistency. Thick, but not... I don't feel like it's looking heavy under my eyes, which is good. I mean, it's a lot of coverage, but I don't feel like it's looking, you know, cakey or heavy in any way. And that's one of the reasons why I actually don't like the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like it looks really cakey on me personally. Um, this is not giving that. It's like similar, similar vibes, but better. So I'm just going to blend this out. And again, this is Nikki Uncut. Just gotta remind you, we leave in all the blending. We leave in me flubbing my words. We leave in all that stuff. <laughs> all those things get left in. I just took a little bit more of that concealer from the applicator onto my N16. Just gonna do a little soft highlighting. Nice. Now let's do a little bit more. I'm going to take just a teeny bit on the tip of my N16 and highlight the bridge of my nose. We'll go in in just a bit after we've set this with some powder to do a light amount of powder on my nose, like bronzer, I should say, on my nose just to complete this look. Now I'm gonna switch over to my N14. And this is really what I love to use to kind of buff out the edges and uh, the remaining bits of makeup that I don't need. So if there's ever an area of makeup under my eyes that I applied just too much concealer, I'll go in with my N14 and kind of rework it and buff it into the rest of my skin. So like right here, for example, I'm just gonna buff this in, kind of bring it up towards my temple for a nice little highlighted effect in that area. I have very hollow temples, so it's like nice to kind of highlight in that area and bring light back to that area. Let's grab a touch of whatever's left over. Let's highlight the top of my chin. Very nice. That is a really nice concealer. I can't wait to see how this wears throughout the day. Again, this is very new to me, so we're just, we're going to be finding out together. Let me try to get this cap back on. Okay. Concealer is done. Now, I don't have a, any kind of powder from, from, um, London. So, let's cheat a little bit, and let's actually just use a powder that is sold, and did have a by the way, a gigantic and gorgeous counter. 
um, at Harrods. It's Huda Beauty. I'm gonna grab my cupcake Easy Bake Powder because, you know, why not? And my N14. I'm gonna take a good amount of cupcake and press this under my eye. And honestly, like I walked by the Huda Beauty counter and I wanted to, I wanted to buy something just to to buy something and to support and all those things. But I have, I mean, I am so fully stocked on Huda Beauty. I just couldn't in my right mind do it. I was already spending so much money on makeup. Like, obviously I spent a lot of money on makeup while I was out there and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But now I feel guilty that I didn't. So, well, at least we're using her now to set that beautiful Aviv concealer. This is a nice combo. So just taking Cupcake. And let's set the T-zone very lightly with it. And a little bit around my chin and my nose. Cute. Very cute. I like that. Let's go back to that terracotta bronzer, same brush. I have an itch. <laughs> now let's dip into this bronzer and let's do a little bit of just natural sculpting slash contouring, even though this is not by any means a contour shade. Running this bronzer along the side of my nose and up towards my brow is gonna give a soft wash and a soft contoured effect. Soft sculpt, I should say. It's gonna be a soft sculpting uh, effect. I love also when I opened this up while I was in London, I was wearing it throughout the week, the rest of the week that I had out there. I was loving this as a really simple and easy and quick eyeshadow color. So I was putting this in the crease of my eye just like I am now, but bringing it all across. And it was just so beautiful, so perfect for like daytime pretty much obsessed. Like, look how good that nose contour looks. So, you know what, let's just take a little bit more and just lightly dust it all over the crease of the eye and look how pretty that is. It's like, it brings my complexion to life. Oh yeah. I'm feeling more like myself. I love this so much. So let's figure out the rest of this look together. Okay. So we have this beautiful eyeshadow palette from Isamaya and there are some really fun shades in here. I actually have not showed you yet. So look at how gorgeous. Oh my God. I mean, are you kidding me with this brown? Honestly, would you all hate me if I just went really neutral and safe, safe in a way and just use this beautiful brown all over my eyes because I've been wanting to use this ever since I opened this palette up. There's a lot of greens in here, which is interesting. Um, they're all very different, but there's lots of different green tones. Like you've got some like olive greens in here, some like gold, gold green, like uh, like a, yeah, like, kind of like a old antique gold green here. I mean, it's very interesting. Lots of greens um, and then some like nice cool tones as well. Oh, it's hard. You know what? Let's go with my gut, okay? I'm gonna go with my gut and we're just gonna have fun. We'll definitely do other looks with this palette, I promise you. But for now, can we just dip into this beautiful brown? Oh my gosh. And here, I have a guilty reason why, okay? I have to go to a dinner tonight and I don't wanna have like a really funky eye makeup look on, to be totally honest. Um, this is my... Third time doing my makeup today. I've done a ton of content, filmed a bunch of content, and I, I wanna end my day, I guess you could say, with like a really nice, beautiful, neutral eye makeup look. And this is going to hit the spot. Wow. Formula-wise, the formula is really nice. I mean, it's going on incredibly easy with my fingertip. I just, I picked up my, I didn't pick up a brush. I chose my fingertip instead because I really want to feel the texture of these shadows first. And then now that this is applied all over my eye, I can see there's like, there's no fallout with my fingertip. Let me grab my N13 in a second and I'll start to blend this into the crease of my eye and really make it an actual look. But wow. I mean, this this brown is just absolutely stunning. 
Have you all heard of this brand? Have you tried any of her products? Are you, have you been curious about her products? I would love to know. Leave me a comment. I know she has, I think, one other collection since this one came out a little while back. I think it's like a cowboy themed collection, I think. Very pretty. Okay. I'm going to put my fingertip down <laughs> as if it's a brush. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to grab a clean N13 brush, dip back into that same shade. Let's take a little bit of this. Let's tap off the excess. Okay. And let's start to make this an actual look and blend this out. But wow, is that stunning. I mean, this has such a beautiful brown base to it with that very fine, very, very wet looking gold sparkle infused in it. This is a beautiful, beautiful formula. But I'm not surprised. I really, I have, I had high hopes for Isamaya. I didn't think this palette would disappoint me at all. I would have been shocked if it did. She's such an amazing artist. Like there's no way she would put out an eyeshadow palette that wasn't less than incredible or that was less than incredible. So pretty. Start to blend out towards the temple. Now I did also get the brow gel that she came out with, but I've already done my brows. They're already locked in with the Anastasia Brow Freeze like the new gel that came out that if you know, you know, you know, I'm obsessed with that product. That is like probably one of the best brow products I've tried in a long time. It is so impressive, but also it's like very, very strong and it's hard to, it's hard to take off unless you're like double cleansing at night. And I clearly I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so I've left it in. We'll try the brow gel from, Anna, from Isamaya on another day. So we'll save this for later. It's so pretty. It is just so beautiful. Now I want to take the same shadow, my N12 brush. I'm going to dip into it. Oh my God. This is going to be so gorgeous on the bottom lash line. Oh yeah. We're going to go simple, very simple. One shade all over top and bottom. I'm obsessed with this shade. And then I promise you, we'll move on to other things. I have a mascara from Isamaya that I cannot wait to put on with this look. Wow. God, that's so pretty. What else do I have in here? Before I figure out my eyeliner, okay, let me, let me just, oh yeah, I knew I bought another eyeliner, okay. We are now cooking with oil. I have some other things other than Vive. I kept thinking to myself, I'm gonna have to break into more of my Vive. I really wanna save it for that full face. So let me show you what else I got. Oh yeah, what else did I got? I got two, I got two spice, oh yeah, one's for my makeup kit. Um, I got two spice lip liners from Estee Lauder. I've always wanted this lip liner. Um, one's going in my kit, saving that for later. And one is going to go on me today. So Spice Lip Liner. We'll grab that in a second and actually apply it. Um, I have the Byredo, two products from Byredo. This is a really great brand. And actually, I, I want to, I'm almost positive that Isamaya also does, um, I like the creative direction for some of the Byredo products. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure she has, her hand is in Byredo in some, at some capacity. So I know she works with them, like I said, to some, to some extent. So Byredo has a Crayon Kajal pencil. I got the shade Bora Bora. I'm gonna apply this with this eye makeup look. It's gonna be so good. And I also got the Reasonable Doubt Liquid Lipstick Vinyl. Um, let's bust these open. I usually open things like this off camera because they take me so long. Let's grab some scissors, make this easier. But yeah, you know, back to that conversation I was having about like, have you tried is anything from Isamaya? Have you 
always been curious about is Amaya's uh, makeup collection, her makeup products. Same with Byredo. What have you tried from Byredo? You know, what have you tried from Girl On? Leave them in the comments and I would love to have, like, have that conversation with you all. How pretty is this liquid lipstick? And it's gonna go great with this eye makeup look as well. So let's finish this eye makeup look. Let's open up that Bora Bora pencil. I have never tried either of these products. I'm very excited to do so. Love the packaging. This is like a matchbox. Ooh, comes with a pencil sharpener. Yes, please. I have so much packaging and, and products in front of me right now. It's like, I need to organize after this video is done. So this is the pencil. It's nice and petite. Look at that brown. It's like, kind of reminded me of Teddy, I feel like. Was this the one that reminded me of Teddy? Oh no, that was a different one. Oh no, this has some shimmer in it. Feels like so long ago that I picked this out. Let's do some wing liner, because what else would I do with a pencil other than a wing? I love my wings. So let's do a classic wing liner. Kind of love the length of this pencil. And then it's a short, kind of stubby pencil. I feel like I have a lot of control with this. Formula is great, really easy to work with. So this is a basically a really rich dark brown. Oh, just gonna drop some. Pretty. I'm gonna bring some in the inner corner. Just like that. And let me grab my N11 brush. I'm going to pull this out a touch. Just kind of taper the, the tip of the wing. Very pretty. And actually, let me just pull this in a bit as well. Very nice formula. I can see why these get some hype. I feel like a lot of people have been using these and loving them. Our corner. Very nice. Same thing. Grabbing my N11. Got a little fallout here. Let's try to buff this off. Okay, save the day. I'm going to pull this out just like I did the other side. Now I went a little, went a little too far out. So let me grab an Angie Hot and Flashy A505. Teeny bit of NARS tiramisu. And let me show you how I fix things. Are we looking even? Even enough. They're sisters. They're good enough. They look good. So let's break into this industrial. This is just cracking me up. This is like giving me like very much like Dave Navarro vibes. 
Um, if you get that reference, please let me know. So this is the mascara and it has like a nice curved wand to it. That's cool. I love the matte, like kind of like squishy rubbery component. This is like so satisfying to hold. Um, let's do some mascara. Nice formula, very nice formula. A little bit on the dry side, but I kind of like that. It's like the kind of mascara that you have a lot of control with, where it's not too wet and messy. Hmm. Very nice, and I like the wand a lot. Sorry, I know it's a lot of dead air while I do this mascara. Again, it's Nikki and Cut. You get all the mascara. I'm gonna go in with another coat. Okay, this I this is cute, but it's a little in my way. Just a little bit. One more. We're not gonna do bottom. I wanna keep it a little bit more. Well, I just don't wanna worry about transferring to be honest, especially like throughout the night. Let's do, we're not gonna do Vive for the lip. We're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it Byredo and we're gonna do the Estee Lauder Spice. I think this is gonna be a really nice combo actually. So Spice is very old school, as are these pencils. This pencil formula is very old school, been around forever, um, really great formula. Let's put on Spice, because I'm not gonna do this lipstick from Isamaya. <laughs> seeing this, seeing myself hold this up in the monitor right now is just the most hilarious thing um, ever. So I do want to show you the lip color though. It's a, it's a beautiful red. And I want to say these are more sheer from what I remember seeing online. Let me just swatch it for you all before I move on. Ooh, okay, it's not sheer. What was I thinking? Really pretty. It actually almost matches my nails like very well. Very pretty. We're going to save this for another time because I don't really feel like doing a red lip with this eye. Even though it would be pretty, I'm going to put my weight down. It is so heavy. Let's opt for something a little bit more neutral, a little bit more appropriate for what I want to wear makeup-wise when I go to dinner tonight. So Spice Lip Liner it is, and let's get this going. This is a really fantastic lip liner formula. Very, very long wearing. Let's try to make these guys even. Doggies are sound asleep next to me. Okay. 
Spice, cannot go wrong with spice. And let's try on for the first time. Oh, this is such a cool component. I love this packaging. So this is a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna apply it. Oh, Tomas is literally snoring next to me. Ooh, this is pretty. Whoa. Wow. This turned out to be a really pretty, almost monochromatic makeup look. And by the way, don't think I forgot. I need to apply some blush as well. Hmm. Smells good. Nice. Wow. Very nice formula. Really pretty. Okay. I officially wish I bought more colors of this. I can get them online, but I wish I kind of bought some more when I was in store at the counter. The counter was really cute. And also the person that helped me at that um, Byredo counter was so sweet and so helpful. I wish I remembered her name. Um, what else do we need? We need blush. Okay. Which means I, I have to break into, oh wait, I also forgot. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I have to mention these before I wrap up this video, this very uh, chaotic Nikki Uncut. But I picked up two new lipsticks, or one was actually a replacement lipstick for some of my favorite clay to pearl lipsticks that I keep in my pro kit. Um, I picked up the shade Power Mauve. I was out of Power, Power Mauve. I really am having a hard time speaking today. <laughs> I picked up the shade Power Mauve. This has to go back in my kit. So along with Spice, that's gonna go in my pro kit in a minute. And then I also got the shade Positive, Positively playful. I told you I cannot talk today. This is also going to go on my pro kit and Now we can move on. That was the last of my haul. I think right. Yep Yep, the rest is all Vive for a rainy day for another full face But we are going to dip into one of our other Vive products. It's the Pesca blush and that is just going to go It's like I it's like I planned it out in my head. However, I did not at all This is gonna go so perfect with this. I'm this whole makeup look. So let's grab you know, I am running, I'm running low on clean brushes. Let me tell you, I am running very, very low once again, because I was very bad and I didn't clean my brushes two days ago like I usually do. So we're gonna grab a slightly clean, one of my favorite brushes from BKB, it's a 107. This is a fantastic blush brush. I'm gonna dip into Pesca. And let's tap off the excess just to be safe. And let's start to tap this on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very pretty. Wow, I really love this lip. I love the eye makeup. I love everything about this makeup look, to be quite honest. I love the way my skin feels. I love that primer underneath, and I'm not even a big primer person. I think I might, I feel like I might put this in my pro kit. You'll have to stay tuned for that. And also, by the way, I know I've been getting a ton of requests, specifically lately, to show the inside of my pro makeup kit. Here is the reality of that, okay? The reality of that is my kit is usually 90% of the time it is in the trunk of my car. So not to sound lazy, I'm not lazy, but it, you know, filming that video entails me lugging that heavy kit out of my car, opening it up, finding space for me to open it up in my studio that is like, uh, falling in on me. There's just so much stuff in here. So not to make excuses, but to make excuses, that is part of the reason why I just haven't filmed that video. And also like throughout the week, my makeup kit takes, uh, quite a beating and, um, you know, I need to like reorganize halfway through the week because things kind of get tossed around and stuff. So I'm making excuses, but I will film that video. I promise you very soon because I have gone an extreme amount of request to do that video. So maybe once I put these new, these new bad boys in my pro kit, it'll inspire me to keep it in here and I'll film a what's inside my pro kit video. If you want to see that video, how about this? Leave me, leave me a comment, leave me a comment and let me know. I don't have a new setting spray that I picked up from the UK. We're going to leave it. I don't think we need a setting spray. Oh, you know what? I lie. I'm a liar. 
This isn't really new and I did not pick it up while I was in London. However, it's Lisa Eldridge, so it fits it fits the bill, right? It fits the vibe. Let me set my makeup and then we'll wrap this video up. This is one of the best misters I've tried in a long time. Um, and speaking of my Pro Kit, this actually might go in my Pro Kit too. I really feel like I want this in my kit because I, I know my clients would love the feeling of it. All right, you know what? It's enough talking. I've talked a lot. I've talked your ears off. Um, I hope you enjoyed this Nikki Uncut. This was really fun. It went by in the blink of an eye for me. I hope it did for you too and you didn't feel like you were, you know, just bored out of your mind during this whole unboxing day. But this was so much fun. Leave me a comment if you liked this video and if you liked any of the products you saw. And also leave me a comment about the questions I asked you throughout this video. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm so happy and lucky to have you. Stay tuned for that uh, huge foundation haul that's going to be posted this Saturday where I picked up and I bought every single foundation that is sold at Sephora. That video is coming up and it's gonna be a good one. It is going to be so, so juicy. Thank you all so much for watching. Here's one more look at the look. <laughs> and um, I love how it came out. And I love the way my skin feels. So that is the glam using all fun new products that I got while I was in London. And um, that's it for this Nikki Uncut. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all so soon. Bye.